back to basics. So, that little last run out with fresh gas, uh, I just, like I said, wanted to come down here and see if it was going to make any difference. It seemed like it made a little bit of difference. Then, you got that tank. Now, this, this motor's been running on that tank since forever. Like I said, the owner always keeps the damn thing tight. And I, when I run it, I, I loosen it up. So there doesn't seem to be any big difference, tight or loose. The cap is not vented. There's no air leak between the tank and the pump. If there was, it wouldn't swell up when it gets hot because it would leak out. So not sucking any air between the tank and the pump. Uh, pump is pumping. When I take the hose off, crank the engine, gas is spitting out of it. it seems to be fine. Carburetors. Not buying dirty jets, clogged carbs. Can't tell me this thing ran like a champ. Gets hot, overheats, conks out. New gear case, crank it back up, and the carbs are clogged. Just ain't gonna, I ain't buying it. So I'm pretty much going to say, uh, as far as the fuel system goes, it's pretty much eliminated, in my opinion. The primer solenoid leaks when you push in the key, or I should say, it did leak when you push in the key. All I had to do was tighten down the four screws on the top, hold the damn gasket in tight, and it stopped leaking. So no leak there. And. Like I said, process of elimination, I, I'm pretty convinced it's not fuel system. It has to be electrical. From the coils, plug wires, back to underneath the flywheel, something is, is you know, is happening. The coils are producing a spark. All spark plugs are firing, whether it's cold or hot. They've been tested with the timing light. Is it a strong spark? I don't know yet. I haven't gotten that far. I need to get a spark tester. Now, I do have that one spark tester that I use all the time, but it's not going to show me how far that spark will jump. And I've used that thing long enough, I can tell by the brightness of the spark. If it's dim, then I know it's weak. If it's bright, then I know it's strong. But I still want to get the, the right spark tester that, that you jump the spark and see what's going on there. Uh, today, what I want to do is get my Lincoln sink back in order. The thing is just way out of whack and that's what's concerning me. Anyway, the last time I had this thing set up, I, I just did it by, by sight, sound. You know, I didn't go by the, the manual, didn't go by, you know, didn't have the, the seven steps, eight steps, didn't do any timing uh, checks or anything. But here is the idol. And you can see how far I have this damn thing screwed in. Now it's never been that, you know, had to be screwed in that far before. And to get my marks to line up where everything, you know, I've got some idle, you know, and pushes this damn thing up, that's where it has to be right now. And that, that's what's bothering me. Something is not right in that situation. If you need to look any of this stuff up, there is a website called boatinfo.no. Boatinfo.no. They've got every manual. You can print the manuals out when you read them online. They're a little fuzzy. And, you know, they're taken from the original manuals. And uh, you can print them out, you can get whatever you need off these things. That's where I go. You know, I'm no expert on these bigger motors, but it's the same principle. 
you know, it's a smaller motor. It's just a little different under the under the flywheel. So that's where I'm going to start today. I'm going to link and sync this damn thing back to where it's supposed to be. I've got two parts motors up there. This timer base under here could be bad. The stator could be bad. You know, the stator holds all those, uh, you know, like the charge coil and then and then and then and then. We're on a smaller motor, they're all sitting in there separately. So, the biggest problem I have right now is I don't have a socket to get these damn big nuts off. So, that's on the menu. Pick up the socket. Double check my, my compression when it's hot, when it's cold. So, here's my plugs. This was top cylinder. Looks a little, little oily. Don't look bad. Now, here's the middle. Looks good. Light tan, not oily. And that was the cylinder that had the lower compression, which came back up after I shot some WD. This one looks pretty good too, number three. But I would say the middle one, probably the light tan, looks a little dry, probably looks the best. So I'm going to slap that damn tester on and see what we got cold. Last time I did it, middle was at 90, shot some WD in there, let it soak for a little while, put the tester back on, boom, right up 120. That's a pretty big jump for one crappy shot of WD. All right, got the top one up there. Had to get the key. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, that's even better than the last time. I can't see on the ca oh there I am, there it is. 120, 130. Alright, that's higher than the last time. Last time was like 121. Around there, 122. That's one of the biggest problems with this setup trying to work on this thing hanging off the back of the freaking boat all right number two boom 120 like I said first day it was at 90 I just shot a little WD in there let it soak came right up to 120. Alright, god dang, there goes my back already. Number three. So, still good to go. Cold. Alright, I was getting ready to show you the tank. And I just busted my god dang freaking knuckle. It's nothing major. But I'll tell you, I just had freaking spaghetti <laughs> and meatballs for lunch. I can't do this shit <laughs> after I eat. Oh, anyway. I need to just slow down a little bit and relax. And let me show you that freaking tank of what I'm talking about because it looks to me like it's doing it again today. And it's not even hot outside. Let me see if I can get a shot in there. That's what I'm talking about. You know, you're trying to wrestle around in here, just eat. So you see how this thing is all swollen up. Now, there's gas in there, it's firm. Now, if I, when I loosen that cap, I think you can see that on the video, it's gonna go You hear that? Now, you can't tell me 
And then I've got an air leak in here anywhere. So that's why I'm saying I'm a, that's eliminated as far as an air leak sucking air. All right, you're not going to be able to hear me, so I'm going to dub this over. I put my spark tester on, and uh, that's number one cylinder. Now you can see how freaking weak it is. Normally, if it's a good spark, it's going to be real bright and, uh, and, and show up a hell of a lot better than that. Also, with the camera lens set the way it is, it's not picking up the actual flash, consistent flash. So there is a consistent pop, 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 pop flash, and it's extremely, extremely weak. Uh, I tested the other two plugs with the spark tester man I, I could barely see a goddamn thing so it's kind of been a hunch the whole time rule out fuel it's just weak so it's either that power pack or something under that damn flywheel that timer base the stator you know the charge coil you know that, that's what happens on these, these smaller outboards that work on you bad charge coil weak spark uh, it's the same difference it's just that I'm not used to working on these big puppies anyway on my Lincoln sink it does not freaking work on this boat the way it is right now and it won't work until I get some good power to these to, you know it just does not link and sync up the way it's supposed to it needs to be manipulated around I mean, in my opinion, you know, my, my I, I've said it before, my freaking idle screw there never had to turn that thing in that far. What I'm doing when I turn it in, you know, it's advancing the timer base and, and, and bringing, bringing the idle up. And it doesn't have anything to do with the carbs because they're closed at, at idle. And which you can see my plate there, my my uh, my cam here. Get a little closer. You see how far back that damn thing is? Screwed back. You see where it's silver right there? That's the old setting. That's when this thing had power. Now I gotta move this baby way back here because I gotta move this baby way up here. So I have to manipulate everything around to get it to run. So when this thing got hot, something got a little bit fried, and I'm guessing it's under this damn flywheel. Anyway, the owner came down, took him for a quick run, and uh, same thing, you know, you hit it slow and it wants to bog and, and stall. Pump it around, monkey around with it, hit it fast, and man, 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 it takes off. So I'm gonna get the right side socket for that nut. Pull this flywheel off, pull the other parts motors apart, and, and swap some shit out. And uh, I'm thinking timer base, you know. Uh, state, that's the only thing that's under there. The stator, the timer base, we'll see what happens. Swap it out, power pack. I think that other power pack's gonna fit and go from there. Next time on this old outboard, So here's the parts motors, um, that one and this one, and we'll pull these damn flywheels off, pull me some parts. <laughs> I'm also going to take these damn, I don't know if that will, will work, the mount. I think there's a mount back there. I have to have to double check on that. And this one is on the other side. Anyway, check all that out. Take this off too. You know the channel, baby. Don't forget to subscribe.